Today we're going to be making caramel apple cheesecake bars. Something I've been wanting to try for a while. Saw a few recipes, kind of tweaked it to what I think we'll like. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. First we're going to start off with one cup of softened butter. We're going to mix in a half a cup of packed brown sugar and two cups of flour. I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix that up real good and what we're doing is basically making a cookie uh, you know like a, almost like a shortbread uh, for our bottom portion of our uh, cheesecake bars so I'm just going to turn that on hey okay. as you can see we've got our shortbread dough all mixed up and then what we're going to do is we're going to press this into the bottom of a 9 by 13 cake pan just press it down with your fingers I've already sprayed this pan with them some not on stick spray. And we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to be working on our cheesecake filling and also our streusel topping. Not to mention cutting up our apples and mixing those up. This recipe does have a, quite a few steps, but in the end, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. I've been drooling over pictures of this for a while. So, all right, I'm going to put that in the oven, 350 degree oven for 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, in here we've got three 8 ounce blocks of cream cheese and I'm going to put uh, about three quarters of a cup of sugar in that and we're going to let that get all mixed up and incorporated and then I'll add my eggs so we'll get this started Okay, I'm going to put about one tablespoon, or tea, one teaspoon, sorry, of uh, vanilla in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put our three eggs, but I'm going to mix at each one. That way I don't have one big sloppy wet mess. So, let me move it closer there. Okay, what I'm going to do with this, because I still need this bowl for my uh, streusel topping. I'm going to pour it into another dish and just set it off to the side. Get my apples ready and then we'll be back with making our streusel and putting this all together. Okay, now with our uh, bowl of apples here and this was three large granny smiths and they are just absolutely perfect um, 
for this type of recipe because you got a little bit more of a tartness, which is great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a teaspoon of cinnamon and sprinkle over there and I'm going to get this all mixed in. And what I also like to do is just take like a quarter cup of brown sugar. Can't help it. I like it sweet. I surely do. And there's a lot of sweet tooths out there that would agree with me on this. <laughs> so we're just going to mix this all together. We're going to let this sit while we get our uh, our streusel made and then we're going to assemble it and then bake it and then eat it. Love to eat. That's my favorite portion of this. It's lawn mowing day in case you haven't noticed <laughs> if you can hear it. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm gonna let this sit and these are gonna be perfect. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. So we'll be right back. Okay. To make our streusel, you need a half a cup of butter. You'll need one cup of flour. And this is all purpose flour, everything that I'm using here. Unless I'm using self-rising, you know. <laughs> then we want a half a cup of oats. Actually, I'm going to go for a full cup. Why? Because I love oats. And especially with apples. They're lovely. Your choice. You can do the half cup, but I'm doing a cup. Um, then we need one cup of brown sugar. I'm also going to put in here some chopped walnuts, so I'll be right back with that. Had to chop my own, but that's okay. Doesn't bother me. We, we're going to do a half a cup of walnut, half a cup of walnuts while I'm not making any noise here. About a half a teaspoon of salt. That's optional for you, but that's I like it sweet and salt. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same uh, as we did on our shortbread. But we're just wanting this crumbly. That's perfect. See how crumbly that is, and that's what we're going for. Okay, now to assemble everything. Here we've got our baked uh, shortbread, uh, our base, and here's our cream cheese. I'm going to pour that on top. This would be perfect for a potluck, you know, and especially on Sunday dinners, which is what we're going to be having for dessert. On this Sunday evening for us. Then we're going to take our apples and pour that over top. And then we'll spread it out. Just be careful so you're not mixing the cream cheese mixture and the apples together because you want it layered.
Now we're going to take our streusel and we're going to just start piling that on. I go kind of conservatively till I get the whole thing pretty much covered and then I start piling it on. Next, after this, I'm going to show you how to make a little caramel. It, you know, and I got really lazy this time, and I'm going to be using uh, wrapped caramels and some heavy whipping cream. Uh, you can use uh, any caramel uh, ice cream topping that you want. You know, it's just, you know, I'm doing this organically except for the caramels. Uh, Everything else is organic. What but we're you know, do is return this back to the oven for 40 to 45 minutes until that um, cream cheese filling has set up. And then we're going to pull it out and then drizzle it with caramel, eat it, get really stuffed, and have to take a two hour nap. You know, hey, it's Sunday, who cares? All right, <laughs> we'll be back after this.